a very good morning and welcome to all of you welcome back to your own channel see the soul the truth lies within let's go ahead with today's blessing but before we go ahead for all those who have come over for the first time on this channel have a look at the link down below which takes you towards the youtube link and you can explore all the playlist which takes you towards depression help out somebody with depression diet plans yoga sins chair exercises relationships parenting sleep patterns and much 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 more so go ahead and have a look at the link and if you like anything which you see do share it with others so let's go ahead with today's blessing 224 day of a godly blessing what does baba have to say what are the new teachings and how does he want us to live our life so baba says that may you be full of all powers and gain victory over the suffering of karma by becoming detached from the costume of your body in a second now suffering of karma is whatever bad we have done through this physical body somebody has slapped somebody somebody has click kicked somebody somebody has said certain things to somebody yes so what happens body aches ego joint aches if you have spoken something bad throat cancer throat issues if you have seen bad in others eye problems if you have been hearing wrong about others ear problems if you have been giving headache to other people headache problems migraine problems and many more things happen in a life so baba says those are all suffering of karma so how do you how do you remove that how do you overcome these things let's explore that baba says when there is the force of the suffering of karma we all have to face it physical ailments physical issues your physical organs pull you towards the suffering of karma the mind gets distracted pulled towards that suffering isn't it it's very common for everybody to experience it at the time when there is a lot of pain because of the effect of that suffering what do you do then those who transform the suffering of karma that means karma bhog so we are all karma bhogis god never comes into any bhog that means he never takes birth never takes um mother's womb takes a child's body and enter into this world plane for suffering no he never does that so god says karma bhog into karma yog so what do we do suffering because of the effect of that suffering those who transform the suffering of karma that is karma bhog into karma yog who go through the suffering with their physical organs as detached observers are called those of the eight victorious jewels now those souls who have so much of power so much of purity that they can detach themselves from the physical body like our dadis or prama kumaris dadi jan ki dadi kul saath they used to get operated without anesthesia big operations the stomach has been opened up their organs are been are been healed and operations are being done but they are without anesthesia they had the power of meditation of so many years or whatever we are sharing over here they practice everything and whatsoever we have learned in brahma kumaris they used to practice everything and get detached while getting operated they had that power so god says if you can do that then all that suffering will go away so baba says those of the eight victorious jewels who are full of all powers so eight jewels those most powerful souls in the world who have this capacity or have this power are only eight souls and then they are number wise that means all those souls who have little lesser power to detach themselves from the physical body or the pain or the suffering or the feeling of the physical body like god is always detached so he's giving us the knowledge and the power to think in a certain manner over a period of time so that we can be detached from this kind of disease or ailment so baba says for this practice over a long period of time now this is a long period of practice of time of being detached from the costume of the body when we are thinking about the body first basic things which we learn is i am not this body my physical beauty doesn't matter my looks don't matter how tall short fat thin all these things don't matter when these things matter your bodily ailments will make you feel more pain <clears throat> so these are the basics a b c d the first kg class or the nursery class of education which we get at brahma kumaris 
then there are higher education levels of how to cleanse our thinking so much so that we become totally detached from the physical costume in our thoughts yes it is possible and many people have done it also so for this practice over a long period of time of being detached from the costume of the body let your costume not be tight due to the attraction of the world or of maya so a tight costume is something which doesn't allow us to remove it easily so the thoughts of the body also are like those different thoughts they can also pull us towards itself thoughts of body is as we have discussed in previous vadans also not just the looks of the body not just how people look at me or look at us uh, our comments from childhood which people are giving us you look so good you so beautiful you so handsome those small small things they also pull us when we look at a body getting aged and uh, we remember our old comments which people used to give us about the beauty about the looks and all and that also pulls us so god is talking about not just those things god is even talking about the accomplishments of our life physical accomplishments the wealth the things which we have done attachments to things which we have done to the physical world repairing something i did it taking care of something i did it god is saying even that is something which pulls you towards it and makes you heavier feel heavier in the body god wants us to be totally detached from this physical world <clears throat> obviously that is a final stage not so easy not it cannot be attained in one day is the final stage but the practice has to be done so that the suffering goes away that's what the dadis had done so god says for this practice over a long period of time of being detached from the costume of the body let your costume not be tight due to the attraction of the world attraction of the world or of maya so attraction of the world is worldly things greed also can come into attraction of the world that is part of maya lust anger greed ego attachment is maya now greed can be of things greed can be of food greed can be of people greed can be of uh, respect greed can be of wanting uh, wanting some form of some form of uh, accomplishment greed can also be in the form of name and fame wanting or desiring it that also makes us feel heavier so god says when you slowly slowly remove all these layers of negativity from your life or negative way of thinking or impure way of thinking in your life you will feel more soul conscious you will feel more lighter and your body will also feel lighter then any ailment which comes any disease which comes will not pull you towards it because your practice is for so long so then baba says that is let it not be pulled only then will it be removed easily what the physical body many people find it very difficult to leave the body when they get sick because the soul is not able to come out of the body body is pulling it organs are pulling it the karmas which we have done with the eyes ears nose mouth hand legs all that is pulling the soul not letting the soul get out of the body easily think about it that is what we practice in brahma kumaris the art of leaving the body so how do you do that what is that practice how do you leave your body easily you can learn that at brahma kumaris i am learning the very basics i am just at the very basic steps i have not even reached anywhere i am still learning a lot you can also start your journey on this is a very long journey but it has to start somewhere so i leave you with this beautiful vartan think over it if you have any questions do ask them in the comments i'll make sure that i'll answer them if i don't know the answers i'll ask my seniors and let you know so have a blessed day stay safe om shanti you